about interview techniques if you're a person going for job interviews. What you, should you be looking out for when you've now got the job and you perhaps have a three-month probation period? You know, I think when you start a new job, you have to be a little bit of a chameleon for the first few weeks and feel out the company, mm -hmm. understand the culture, see where you are fitting into it and try and fit into the culture. That doesn't mean that you should change who you are. And we've always talked about how you, you don't get a pearl without, without grit. So every company needs people who are giving input, but be careful not to be too controversial in your first few weeks. Absorb, understand, listen. If you asked for ideas, that's a different story and input. But I think your first few weeks feeling things out is, a, a, you know, depending on the level of your job, of course, and what you're mm -hmm. doing. But I think it's really important to try and get a feel for the company before you get um, maybe chill too much into your uh, <laughs> your at home personality. <laughs> I think I think it's important that people know that the three month or six month probation period is for you to to feel out the company and understand your job as much as it is for the company to show you what they expect and to actually suss you out. But what's very important is that you can't just after the three month period say to the person, sorry, you didn't fit in. Uh, we don't want you anymore. A company must actually follow a performance process if the person isn't measuring up. So you need to be able to say, I've really tried with this person, they're not going to make it. And then formally say to the person, either we've really loved having you and please come back on three months and day one, or we really sorry this hasn't worked out and go through the processes properly. So basically, if you don't hear from them, you've got a job <laughs> after three months. But I think also one of the things is that not all companies prepare well mm -hmm. for a new employee. So if you come in on your first day and nobody gives you a, a space to sit or you sit at a desk and you haven't got any uh, stationery or you don't know what to do next, you don't know where, where to go for lunch, all those things can be quite challenging and are not difficult. Ask questions. Maybe mm -hmm. if that happens to you, you know who hired you. Go to that person and say, at the moment, I'm not doing anything. What would you like me to do? Or can I start looking around, moving around the company, seeing what other people do? Show an interest very mm -hmm. quickly in the fact that you want to hit the ground running. Yes. Um, you cannot expect, sometimes you might arrive on a day where Everything's fallen apart for the company. <laughs> there, might, there might be a crisis and nobody's thinking about the new person who started today. You might have to sort of take cognizance of that and step back a bit, or you might be able to say, is there anything I can do to help? Mm -hmm. So try and get involved in a positive way as quickly as possible, I, I believe. You I, know, think I think it's really important. Good advice. Mm -hmm.